And then we get Texas and Washington in the college football playoff and the Sugar Bowl. Now, these two teams hooked up last year in the Alamo Bowl, and it was the Huskies outlasting the Longhorns 27 to 20. But now there's quite a bit more on the line in this game. And here's what this comes down to. Can the backup running backs for Texas get the job done? Last year, Texas was without its top running back against Washington and B. John Robinson. He opted out of the Alamo Bowl. This year, of course, Jonathan Brooks is out for the season with a knee injury. What is that trio of C.J. Baxter, Jaden Blue, and can end up doing? How do they end up performing in this game? What's that ultimately end up looking like? If they can get the run game going, then I like Texas to take care of business as four and a half point favorites. In fact, I think they will cover. I think Texas will win. And I think they're going to be heading to a national championship game after they beat the Washington Huskies. And I I don't see how Washington gets any run game going against this Texas defensive front. We know they're one of the best defensive fronts in the country. They've proven that. So then it's going to come down to Michael Penix, who of course leads the nation's top passing offense. And we know where Texas has been weak has been in that secondary. We 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 know that. But I'm getting Steve Sarkeesian with almost a month to prepare for this game, to get it set up from an offensive angle, which of course is his bread and butter, but then also give his defense almost a month to prepare for Michael Penix. And I'm liking my odds. I'm taking that one every single time. Sark has really impressed me from a coaching perspective this year, what he's done as a leader of this program, what he's done with that offense. And I think Texas is going to be able to take care of business, but they're going to have to slow down Michael Penix, especially in late down situations. That's where he has kept this Washington offense on the field with third down conversions through the air. Texas has got to force third and longs. They've got to get those stops. And if they do that, which I think they will, they're going to play in a national championship after beating Washington 35 to 28. That's how I see that one going down in the Sugar Bowl between the Texas Longhorns and the Washington Huskies.